full tub for the I think so. The full game? I think so, man. For six hundred and some games, I think I think we could work. And a good high five. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Wednesday, February 24th. I have 15 eBay orders to ship out, and after that I'm heading over to see the Mojo Casher crew. I'm sure you guys remember them from my previous videos. They have a whole shop now of stuff. You guys saw it the last time I went over there. I think it's been like two months now, and they said they got a lot more stuff now. They do vintage clothing, toys, just all kinds of stuff. So I'm excited to go over there and see what I can find. Let's get to work. All right, first thing we're shipping now is something I pulled from my storage unit. This is that Racing with Wins shirt that I just picked up from Goodwill last week. I paid $3 for it, it sold for $19.99, free shipping. Next thing I'm shipping out is a book down here in C51, I believe is this one right here. Yeah, The Apache Country, A Tour Through Arizona and Sonora by J. Ross Brown. This is from 1874. It was also from that big lot of books I got from the Pickle Resellers. Pretty rare book. I had it listed for, I think, like $90 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $70 plus shipping, and I accepted. And if you're named Spencer about this, Spencer, thank you so much for the support. Hope you like the book. Next thing is a video game, Doom, for the Xbox. And I'm looking at my listing, and I do not see an inventory code. So that is a problem. Well, I can't find it. Whenever this happens where I forget to put an inventory code when I list an item, I have to go into my active listings and see when I listed the item that sold, and then see what other items I listed that day. And it's usually in one of the same boxes. But I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. So well, I'm going to go on there, and hopefully I can find it. All right, I am blocking the buyer's name. But you can see, hopefully that's clear enough, that I listed this February 4th, 2021. So we're going to go to the active listings and see what else I listed that day. So the way I'm doing this is I'm just going into my active listings and you can click on start date and it'll sort them all by start date. So I'm just going to scroll down until I find February 4th and starting right here are all these February 4th listings. So about nine or ten of them. And... We got custom labels of E31, F41, B4, C31, B31, A31. They're kind of all over the place. So it could be in one of those, hopefully. We'll uh, go check and see. And right here it is in E31. Doom for the original Xbox. That sold for $14.99, free shipping. All right, hopefully the rest of the orders are easier to find. And next is an Apple Watch uh, on E3 right here. I also got this from the Pickle Resellers. Didn't have the charger, but still worked fine. So I sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is on C2, it's 91 Upper Deck Football. Right here, part of that big collection of cards I just bought. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is two things of cards, one order. First is on B2, it's 2003 Topps Baseball right here. And the second is on E4. It is 2002 baseball. So we got 2002 and 2003, both going to the same buyer. They sold for $79.98 plus shipping. I'll just put them in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Next is on D2, 1997 Upper Deck Football. New in the plastic. These sealed sets seem to be selling pretty quick. That one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a card over here on the A3 shelf. It is right here. Skip Schumacher, it's got the Rally Squirrel on there. I bought a collection about three weeks ago, but kind of a smaller one, maybe like two binders worth, and this card was in there. If this card was in like perfect condition, it'd be worth, I think, around $150, but it's got some corner issues. So in the title I put, please see all photos, and then I took really good pictures of the corners, and in the description I pointed out that the corners were bad, and you know, just make sure that the buyer knows that. And it's still sold for $69.99, free shipping. Another box of football cards are going out. You guys are probably tired of me shipping cards at this point. We got 1991 Bowman Football, new in the plastic. That one sold for $9.99, plus shipping. Next is a lighter. It's got an old inventory code of A5. So it's probably somewhere down here. Yeah, there it is. This is, let's see, an ASR lighter. Not super valuable. 
and this little trigger thing wouldn't stay down so I made sure I pointed that out and also sold it as untested. I only got a dollar into that, that sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next order we're pulling has two things. Let's see, first is right here on B3. This is $19.99 Tops Football, no in the plastic. And same buyer got something over here on E2. 2006 Score Football. And total for these two is $64.98 plus shipping. Those cards are going out to your name, John. John, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next order has two things. First is on B2. It is this Coca-Cola book, something I picked up from the Pickle Resellers, and this one is signed by the author. This was, I think it was printed in the 70s, and it was meant to be for Coca-Cola distributors, and there is the author's signature. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Then we're coming over to A41 for their other order right here. These are Star Wars Micro Machines. I sold the pair for $16.99 plus shipping. The buyer didn't leave a note indicating that they're a viewer, but usually anytime somebody buys two random things like that in my store, they're watching the video. So Marcel, if you're seeing this, thank you so much for the support. I sold a uh, health and beauty product on E2. Actually, I moved it up here to E1, I see it. Got this from my guy Mike three or four months ago, so I've got about $5 into it. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next is back here in D41. This is the last thing we're shipping out. It is a Nintendo GameCube controller. Also something I got from the Pickle Resellers. A lot of their stuff selling today, it feels like. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, the orders are packed. Let's get on the road. You guys got the whole place now? Well, right now, they have classes and stuff, but yeah. right now, they don't, I don't know. They might have one today. We got a calendar behind us. Yeah. We got to keep watch, but right. how have you guys been? Good. good. Been busy. Good. So well, you guys have been busy. been following yeah, you on Instagram. Been busy. You're getting all kinds of stuff. I know. Yeah. I know. It's hard. And this, you know, trying to do Instagram. You yeah. Do that, <laughs> that, 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 eBay. Pictures. I'm too old for this. Too many Yeah, it's crazy. Trying to find which one works for what. Yeah. It's really. You've know, been doing good with the know. auctions, haven't you? you the Instagram auctions? auctions? Yeah, yeah. just started and we're doing pretty good. Those, yeah. those live well, auctions are where it's at. It's just it's being with people that have a lot of watchers. That's yeah. what you need to do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. That's cool. How oh, awesome that's is that? That's your cash here. Love the shirts you made. Those are cool, man. Oh, actually, cool? actually, one of the guys who uh, has a shop here, the <coughs> first shop when you walk in, he made them. Yeah. yeah. He makes all the screens. Just and, for fun, uh, out of nowhere. He's like, oh, hey, we walked up here. There's just door. a huge box of shirts. With the under he did the designs for you and everything? Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the screens, really cool. shirts, dude. Dude, he can bust them out, man. Wow. He's such a cool guy. Dang. So he, can, nice. he can do the original. And yeah, he's got the whole uh, like factory in his mm -hmm. garage. So. Ty Ball. He busts them he's out. He's the man. Dude. He's a cool dude. Nice. And he's done all the artwork around here, like all the murals and stuff. But dude, hey, have at it, browse around. You guys been buying a lot? Oh my God. Oh, as always. As always. It never stops. Yeah. <laughs> it's always just buy, buy, buy. In and out, in and out, in and out. I know, dude, I, it's just, but I, I guess the goal is just to never sell out. There can never be like a day where like, you come in here and there's like, okay, I'm down to that last lunch box. Like, right. Yeah. That would be stupid. And so it's like, <laughs> someone even commented, they're like, your shop, I always see you selling stuff, but it's always the yeah, same. Yeah. Like, yeah. It looks like nothing yeah. leaves. Right. Yeah, well, well, yeah. well, well everything's just replaced. <laughs> right. So, yeah. You know, it just filters in, filters out. I see the uh, the frog shirt's gone. Did you sell that? Dude, someone actually bought that. We settled for 300 bucks on that. Wow. Yeah. Nice. That is awesome. It was one of our buddies. Yeah. Nice. So you got a good deal, man. Yeah. Okay. If I pick up something like that today, let me know because oh, totally. I don't know what yeah. the super valuable pretty stuff much, is. Pretty much the only like super, I mean, not even super expensive, but like, you know, that stuff on the wall there. And it's not like crazy expensive. It's just like whatever. Yeah. This is the Grail wall right here. I mean, it's just kind of, but it's like you know, it's like all the, a lot of a lot of older '80s stuff that is just ratted out, and you know, um, that stuff isn't holding its 
value like it was a couple years ago. Huh. Stuff shifting around a lot. Really? Oh Dude. yeah. Thinking of like movies now, movies, games, anime, Pokemon, stuff like that. That's interesting. Harry, Harry, Potter. Harry Potter. Do you have your listed stuff in a certain section? Like a lot of that, like this this little rack right here. Uh huh. That's all listed. Okay. Stuff. Man, feel free to get off of it too. Oh man. yeah. Just, please. If, uh, please, please, please. You know, I mean, just all just. Left my IKEA bags in the car. I should have brought them in. Dude, uh, just grab one of those little shopping bags. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got something to do, man. We're sitting here rock Sega wrestling in this like all the time. Dude, those uh, those corduroy uh, hats are killer, man. Those sports ones, man. That Eagles one. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a. Bengals one right behind you, bro, on that rack right in the middle. It's got a similar vibe. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I love hats. I've been trying to learn more and more about them. I, I don't know anything about them, really, but, like, I just know, like, an old hat. Yeah. Or a cool hat. Yeah. You probably, I mean... I know like the low hanging fruit, like a sports specialties, and yeah, like yeah. I've been people have been educating me on like the shark tooth and yep. all yeah, that some stuff. Of that crazy. Actually, might like this that, one too. Uh, but you know, I'm not. This guy said here, hopefully, to catch your eye. And it's all dead stock too, oh, Logo that's 7. Killer. Anaheim Angels. Yeah, man, I'll throw that in the basket. There you go. Street noise, N O Y Z. Yes. Oh, that looks that looks dangerous. It looks like a pog or something, dude. Like an old slammer. That's a problem with me, man. Cause like there's a fine line between like collecting and selling. Cause it's like I like I feel like you could you could sell like anything. Cause I'm like, ugh. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> as a reseller, <laughs> you can't get too attached to anything. Oh, we're that's the hard to part. Oh, got it. That was bad. <laughs> Can you still get involved in that Kickstarter? Is that? Oh, I'm for real. Yeah, dude. Because I remember you saying like last time, like like 250 bucks or something. You got like a whole like new set or something. Was that like, making that up? Right. Look at this, Milli Vanilli. <laughs> There's a Milli Vanilli over there. Yeah. That's hilarious. Wait, it's stuck to another one. Let me put oh, this apart. That's probably why it's probably... This bad boy. Yeah. Or is that is that off the shelf? Is that NFS? Right now, yeah, but if it does, it's too much fun right now. It's yeah. too much fun. Dude. <laughs> How many games are on it? Six hundred. Yeah. Oh I think Greg might have something in the car that might yeah, sway you guys. Uh oh. Please, some yeah. bartering. I got a tub of goodies in the car. Uh oh. Love it. Love it. Love it. Good thing. Tried and true. Dude, this thing is sick. This is actually like my favorite camera ever. A6400. Is that a, a thick lens or can you swap it? Swap. And it's swap. just kit lens. Okay. But it, it does really good too. And it got a little manual zoom in too. Yeah. It's fantastic. I think you're supposed to use that lens for us Yeah. All right. Well, I, uh, I dug through my private collection. Whoa. All right. So we got some top shelf, bottom shelf. Top shelf, bottom shelf. This is straight off your, uh, your grade school wall Yes, here. it is. Yeah, it is, dude. That's the 70s Garfields, dude. Absolutely. Yeah, I love this because... With the Ferrari. <laughs> it's, a, you know, the ones the most toys with, and, and their scale of the most toys is a real to real Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, once <laughs> you get a real to real you know... That's an economy. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's dope. Here's a 86 Alf. 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 Full size. Shape. The super creepy Santa Claus from 1983. Nice. Yeah, dude, he's he's wailing. This is stuff I thought they might want to change. It's a bunch of belt Levi stuff. Cool, man. Some, oh, sick. Some new old stock Levi. Some belts. Chicks will love that. Yes, they will. That. So, another Levi. Double horseshoe hook. 
Nice, dude. Yeah, dude. Check, that out. Check out look, look a pirate. Hey, you got a Winston apron. I have no idea. <laughs> Cigarette apron. I have no idea. Boxing. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny. Yeah. Those are hilarious. There's another Alf. Alf ain't Alf all day, man. Yep. A couple Furbies. Oh, nice. Got some prime VHS here for you. Swayze, Swayze dancing. dancing. <laughs> the mouse on the motorcycle. <laughs> Three Pete. California raisins. Girls just want to have fun. A little TMNT. Oh. And dirty dancing. Dirty nice dancing. Nice dog. Morgan's favorite. <laughs> All his favorites. Nice. A couple laser discs. Nice, dude. I feel like the big thing's coming. Like you're saving the best for last. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> couple of uh, animation cells, TMNT. Oh, those nice, are cool. Dude. Very cool. Am I allowed to uh, trade for some of this stuff? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these are good, good. Some of the cells are all crappy. These are good topics. You got the three of the main turtles. Oh, yeah. Here's an offspring handbill from 96, I think. Oh, yeah, cool. 96. Ixnay Ixnay on the ombre. Yep, yep, classic, dude. A dude just gave me all his, uh, his CD collection last night, and that was in there, man. Ixnay. Yeah, here's a few smalls. Ooh, big smalls. Hammerman 3D. Mm. Dream Master. Hammerman. A Velveeta shells and cheese camera. Just a little fantastic work in there. Pringles pouch. Garfield. Growing pains and Saved by the Bell. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Saved by the Bell on CD. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that thing actually goes for what? about 50 bucks. It's what's crazy. better? What's more? What like isn't there only one song? Mm -hmm. No, no, one? you got the Zach's band. Oh, oh the Zach 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 Zach. Yeah, the Zach Is Zach. Friends Forever on there? It, it is me. number six. <laughs> Give Casey it to Casey me. Cue it up. There's 12 songs in there. Man, some hits. Dude. Oh yeah, the Grunge Fan soundtrackers. Friends Forever, dude. That's funny. Cover that. So that, and then this is the. If you don't cover that this week, I'm gonna die. This is the big dog here. Mm. Well, there's a few. This is kind of cool. This is Shock Theater and Clubhouse 22. These are from Channel 22. Okay. And the 70s and 80s, you know, those like the late night TV program. That's Autograph Spin Doctors. Uh, the Spin, spin Doctors. Doctors. Spin Doctors. Cool. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> spin Doctors mix. These are all uh, original Mark Arminsky handbills. Wow. That David Bowie, Nine Inch Nails, another Nine Inch Nails, uh, Bush, the Toadies, Blues Traveler, Johnny Winter, and Patty Smith, and these are both autographed. Nice. Wow, dude, those are dope. And Aerosmith, Jackal, uh, Food Fighters, and Beastie Boys. This one's probably the coolest one. Wow, yeah. that's super dope, man. This one just sold. Last week for 180. Jesus, uh, dang it! Yeah, and the best thing in here, Pearl Jam from the 90s. Napkins. It's an autograph napkin by the Foo Fighters. You get Dave Grohl, Pat Smear, and William Goldsmith. Well, uh, Pat Smear, that's a weird one too. He's not usually buddies with the guy who used to own a a record shop in Denver called the CD Merchant, and he came in there and he actually has. I've been trying to buy it from him for years. Dave Grohl came in once and didn't have any cash on or something, so he paid him with his uh, his Subway Club card. So he has an autograph Dave Grohl Subway Club card. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just Pearl Jam handbill. And, uh, this is a mailer from '89 when Bowie's album came out. That's killer, man. Let me take a look at that one. That's dude. a good that's one. Freaking crazy. That's some fun stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. Brought the, the music lover out. There's uh, a cabinet from the early '90s. It's dated, uh... 91. 91? That's, uh, Moonwalker, Michael Jackson. Moonwalker, that's what it was. Oh, yeah, I got that VHS at home. It's got pretty much yeah, every product. Street Fighter. Um, it doesn't have Mortal Kombat, which, which is weird. weird. It doesn't have any Mario. Well, dude, if, uh... 
you might have swayed me with all this shit in the tubs, dude, if, uh, if you want to do it straight up, man. The full tub for the I think so. Full game? I think so, man. For 600 and some games, I think, I think we could work. And a good high five. Oh, God, I've been collecting this stuff for years. Hey, John. Just think of all the fun you have with it. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun, dude. If you can beat, uh, what is it? Uh, boot camp. What's that game on here? If you can beat boot I camp. think it's called boot camp. I can't get through five levels without having a heart attack. Yeah, the guy has a, has a mini stroke. It does something to me. I don't know. He has to take a while. I like to think I'm an all right guy, but if I'm playing boot camp, I'm going to destroy <laughs> something. I can't help it. Yeah. Yeah, if you want, man, because I got... If you, you would, you would, someone came correct, man. They brought brought some killer shit. I would do it for that kind of stuff, man, for sure. Uh, well, I think you'll... If you sell off some of those bills, you'll do okay. So I think those are just gonna stay with me. Yeah, <laughs> that's something that I would have too hard of a time being like, you know, they're, they're cool, man. Parting it out, man. I mean, you got some of my favorites like Pearl Jam and, and Nine Inch Nails, dude, and Willie Loves Blues Traveler. I mean, this is all again. This is just like that's from that just brings me back to being a kid, man. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that would probably those would probably stay with me for sure, man. Cool, that's, I'm in. Cool. Here and I'm in. Oh yeah, so I get that unplugged, man. All right, so now I got to deal with Josh if I want to buy some of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. All right, add it to my pile. Look at this, man. This is, I think this is the craziest thing someone's walked out of here. <laughs> and it will remain to be. Didn't think you were going to get a Simpsons cabinet today, did no, you? No, I didn't think it would be on the table. Well, dude, hey, I'm telling you what. I'm telling you, that's, that's the truth, man. Everything's got to... Got a price, man, for sure. All right, I think I'm ready to start up with you guys. There you go. I like it. I'm buying some stuff you just got from Greg. Wow. <laughs> All right, I like and the, double the, the price. Biggest flip ever. Right. <laughs> Ninja Turtle cells, offspring. I got two hats here, but there's more underneath. I've got, let's see, 11 shirts. So here's some more hats here. Total of six hats. Ninja Turtle cards. Yay, yeah, personal dude. collection. Oh, this is straight out the head of Sam Weiss right there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, I got X Files figure, NWO, Spawn, and then I've got about 10 records or so. Cool. All right, let me uh, stop them real quick. Uh, now, dude, I have no idea what this stuff is worth, man. Greg would know better than yeah. either of us, probably. Yeah, you What do you got think, Greg? Like $2 each? No. Those aren't worth anything, <laughs> right? Those aren't worth you anything. The cells aren't worth as much as you think they'd be. I'd say 40 on a good day uh, for one of those. 40 uh, each? Yeah, on a good day. Okay. But probably close to 25 Okay. Huh? I mean, they're in they're decent shape. The frames are obviously don't contribute any value to those. Sure. No. That I have no clue. I've never dealt with that before. I saw that side set. That's what he wants the most. <laughs> this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's going right on the wall in the warehouse. That's what he wants the most, man. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I mean that's retail on the sales too. So. Uh, I would say. Let me see where I'm at here. Let me see if you can. Do, if, if let me see if you get to where. If you think I'm about where I'm at. These I might hang on to and just uh, not the offspring. You have that for something, but these might hang on to and pop my wall for a minute. But you can probably get them later. So with all this stuff, man, what do you what do you think? And what would you think? I spotted this Gumby sign while you were doing some math. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, don't it's a repop, but it is really cool. Dude, I got a lot of white space on my wall in my warehouse. It, dog. Seriously? Yeah, oh, thanks, yeah. man. Yeah. What What would you think, man? Because I have oh, a man. number. In Throw my me room. a number. What are you thinking? I was thinking like three hundred bucks for everything, including this guy. Let's do it. Yeah. That sounds good to me, man. I appreciate you working with me. Definitely, man. Of course. Definitely, dude. <gasps> he traded that for that stack of VHS tapes right yeah. there. Yeah. Swayze dancing. Swayze dancing. I couldn't resist Those are rare. Dancing. Those are actually really rare VHS. <laughs> that is very shocking. <laughs> what? This is a shocking discovery. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. What? He's a good, he's what? A good negotiator. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah.
I made my daughters watch that. <laughs> yeah. Did they make it through the whole thing? They did. Actually. Seriously. Yeah. Look who's on that cover for you. Oh my gosh. SJP. California Raisins right? too. Such, it's like 600 games for six VHS. Can't beat it. That's really so funny. He's a good talker. He's a good talker. Well, you guys are awesome. Yeah, I love you guys are too. Out. Thank you for everything. Pleasure. This is always oh, fun. Gosh, thanks oh, for yeah. out, I like the Cincinnati Stinger. Thank you. I got that from uh, Cincy Shirts. That's, That's cool. cool. Yeah. That's really cool. All right, well, have so much fun. Yeah, and absolutely. Yep. I hope you play we, lots we, of games. We may see you again after you get through 600 games. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See you guys. All right, guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I got everything pulled out. I'm going to give you a closer look at what I bought. All right, my neighbor out there is making a bunch of noise, so if you guys can't hear me, I apologize. I spent 300 on everything, which is a lot of money, but I think there's some higher dollar pieces in here. I got a big stack of records that I'll take to my antique booth. Got the Beatles Wyatt album. Cover, unfortunately, he's got some damage, but that should be all right. DJ Chuck Chill Out, George Clinton, Elvis. There's a bunch of good titles in there. Got a few toys. Here is a Spawn figure, Al Simmons. We've got X-Files, Dana Scully. With some kind of alien or something the thing with her and then we've got scott hall of nwo with the sting mask i didn't know what this was worth but josh says it's worth about 65 dollars and i didn't look a single thing up there so i was just kind of winging it now of the shirts i got a pretty good variety so we've got kansas city chiefs i'm sorry geez kansas city royals and with baseball coming up baseball season coming up this should do pretty well that's from logo seven we got vintage Cincinnati Bengals. That's a pretty nice one. 1988 AFC champions. Here's a Tom Petty tour t-shirt from 2006. I thought this one was awesome. This is Jimmy Buffett parrot head shirt from a 2000 tour. Look at that. That thing is so cool. Here is a Valvoline racing shirt. Looks like something a pit crew member would wear. That's got an awesome look to it. Here's like a Hawaiian style racing shirt. Dale Earnhardt Sr. We've got a Matchbox 20 shirt. I think this is Indiana Hoosiers. It's a cool vintage shirt. This is, oh, this one, NFL alumni. This one caught my eye. You can definitely tell it's vintage by the patch, but I've never seen a shirt like this. NFL alumni. You see the tag is Sahara. It's got a little camel. Two pockets on the front. That is really neat. Single stitch too, so that should help it. Let's see, we've got George Harrison shirt. A Fruit of the Loom. Got a UK, like a shirt jersey. Kind of got like a mesh feel to it. I thought that was pretty neat. Then I got some hats. Here's a corduroy Bengals hat. I wasn't sure what this was, but I thought it looked pretty cool. Poison, and it says Street Noise, N-O-Y-Z. So it's a signature on the back. The signatures, Designer Award Headwear. Vintage Minnesota Vikings hat. Atlanta Braves. Anaheim Angels with the Logo 7 tag. And the Philadelphia Eagles. And then over here are a couple pieces that I'm keeping for my personal collection. Got a pack of Ninja Turtles cards. Don't be a blockhead. Metal Gumby sign. This is a uh, reproduction, but I just absolutely love it. I think it's really funny. I'm going to put it on my wall here in the warehouse. And I'm also going to put this on the wall. This is an offspring handbill that Greg brought to trade. And he actually traded it with all the other stuff for that Simpsons arcade, which was just really cool. I'm a big fan of The Offspring. I think this is neat, so I'm gonna put this on the wall here too. I love going over to see those guys because they've always got new, interesting stuff, and they're just really cool people too. So Josh, Morgan, Whitley, and Rachel, guys, thank you all so much for hanging out, and thank you for the good deal. If you guys aren't already subscribed to Mojo Casher, I don't know why I've had them in like five or six videos. Those guys are awesome. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below if you wanna check out their channel. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.